This is the height of expert engineering. When our client needed to ship three cranes from China to Italy, Jumbo was one of the few with a possible flexible engineering solution, and the client trusted us to ship all three cranes fully assembled on one vessel. The cranes need to be loaded in Qingdao, China, shipped to Europe and delivered to three different shipyards in Italy. For the engineering team, there is much to consider and weigh up. They create a stowage plan demonstrating the flexibility of our solutions, always pushing for innovative ways to deliver loading and stowing plans that are safe and reliable, engineering at its best. Lifting, sea fastening and shipping these cranes fully assembled presents two main engineering challenges, the ship's stability and securing the cargo. A number of calculations on accelerations, ship movements, forces and strength checks on the cranes need to be carried out. Stability is critical during the lift. These cranes are not only high, they are also extremely narrow and have a small footprint. One of them is only 9 meters wide at the base, so 100 tons of ballast is added to increase stability during the lift and the voyage. The highest two cranes are 137 meters high during loading, with the boom fully raised, and 81 meters high during transportation. The first two cranes are lifted one by one into the middle of the ship with the Jumbo Kinetics two 1,500 ton capacity cranes in dual lift, then they are shifted aft and forward on temporary rails. The third crane stays in the middle of the ship, the perfect balance. The crew take great care to safely position and securely sea fasten all three cranes for their safe journey to Italy together. After weeks of sailing, the cranes are delivered in time to meet the client's schedule and our pleased customer can now put these cranes to work in vessel construction. Thanks to the ship's crew, the engineers, the port captains and the vessel managers, the voyage of these cranes has safely come to an end. For Jumbo SAL Alliance, it's time to engineer the next project.